Hey everyone, it's Joe and Isaiah from Automator, and I just had a really great insight on how you guys can all save a lot of money when you're doing stuff. So basically, you know, this is when anytime you plan to give your code to someone else and pay them to like solve something for you or to help you with something, go annotate, right? Because we're, we're getting, you know, people send us stuff or have us, our clients yeah. will give us stuff to work on and there's no comments. And here's the thing, and Isaiah's like, you know, Tell me where the other comes in so much for you too. When you, even, even though like you're far more advanced than I am at programming and we'll look at some code and when it's fresh to you, you know, it, it's so hard to figure out what the person, first off, what we usually get doesn't even work. Right. So it's right, like, right. oh, you can't just run it to see what it does and then figure out what they're trying to do because it doesn't right. work. Right. So how are we supposed to figure out what you're actually trying to do? It takes yeah. a lot of time to dig through and kind of use your brain to figure out what was probably happening here, you right. know, in this code. But if you just annotate, just add comments and not just for the sections, great, you know, like for an overall topic, but on each real thing too, right? Go down and yeah. say, this is, I'm doing this now and I'm doing this now. I, I would, I would kind of like consolidate that into a specific word is comment on your intent because yeah. there's some people right who point. make comments like they put a lot of comments right. on the code and they just say something that i can see right there in the code like this yeah. variable is true or false and i'm like yeah i can see that <laughs> well but you you know yeah but actually as Ace, i think in, and maybe this was your intent right is mm -hmm. people can often they'll say this is what this code does and you're like no it doesn't but right. if they said, this is what I'm trying to do, do. You, yes. now I know what the goal was. You're like, well, that right, doesn't do exactly. what they're saying. Like, what was, exactly. what, what were they trying to do? I have no idea. That, but exactly. yeah, if you say, this is what I'm trying to do here. Um, and, and like, and even if, you know, usually it does do that, right? But it, it really helps us understand what you were trying to achieve at that spot, you know, in, in, in higher sections of if you label your functions or if you have a go right. seven. Yeah, so so I, I, I remember watching, uh, it was on YouTube, a very long seminar. It was like four videos or four hours each. It was kind of like a seminar. I took a time and I just watched that. And he was about... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Who, was I paying for that? <laughs> no, no. That was before <laughs> I met you, actually. But, but, but the thing is that the guy was talking about good programming practices. Like the reason why I'm so annoying when I talk about the code and I see it, and it's because of that video that I watched a long time ago. And I was like, there's a lot of details in there. And he was saying like, your code should be self-documented in the sense that it should be easy to read and you can see what is happening. And you should only use comments when the code is so, it is a little bit, you're doing something out of the norm and that you want to explain what you are trying to do, like your intent. I'm trying to fix this one thing and the code there. Now the code is, might be a little bit complex to understand, but at least I know what you're trying to do. If something doesn't work, I am at least know where I'm looking for. But I remember uh, one of the questions that you got about a guy that he was trying to set up some hot string. And he says like, if I do this, like if I press it three times, I should happen this, this, and I see at the code and I just told you like, there is an if statement in there. Like that, he, he's trying to send two different texts depending on something, right? So, right? so he tells you one thing, but his intent, what I can see in the code is something totally different. So right there, the, the first thing I have to do is I have to get in contact with you now right. to figure out what really you were trying to do because, so, yeah. <laughs> so, so here's the thing, and and I think Jackie and I have a podcast on this too. Is when you when you ask for one for help, the odds of them helping you when they look at it and go, I don't even understand what it is you're trying to do here. Like a lot of people be like, you know, if I know you, it's one thing. I might reach out and say, can you clarify this? Mm -hmm. If I don't know you, and then and you send me stuff and it's not commented, not annotated, and I don't understand what you're doing, like the odds of me willing to help you. Side if I'm getting paid, it's a whole different thing. But if I'm not getting no, paid. Course. You know, yeah, it's a big stretch to say, okay, now I'm going to reach out to you to say, well, what were you actually trying to do here? You know, this, I that. must be, I must be really interested in it. Like, right. for example, if I see some code on the forums and the code is about some topic that I actually am interested in, then yeah, I might, I might get the time to go ahead and try to figure it out. But the thing is that it's more difficult than you think to figure out exactly. something that you have never seen. So exactly. if I don't know your intent. 
I don't know what you're trying to do. I don't know what the code does because it is convoluted. It has like variables that have one letter and I have no idea what you're trying to do. Um, I don't even, I don't want to spend the time to try to figure it out, right? So then I would say like, nah, that's okay. Like next time. <laughs> yeah, and and again, it's, it's you know, the other one which we didn't even touch on is, this is when, because this is what stimulated is when you get someone else's code, but you and I both know also, often if it's something you wrote yourself and it's a, a quarter later, yeah. six months later, whatever, yeah, that really it. helps you. And the other one is uh, it can allow you easily just to search, to find, because usually when we think we don't, we don't know the code we wrote, but we know our intent. I wanted to do X and we can search for right. that word and we can jump to it, you know, very quickly. And it just really helps speed up everything. So please remember, annotate, annotate, annotate. There you go. <laughs> Cheers.